Content. So, no, um, uh, what do you say? No reason. Uh, I had no reason to suspect that the screaming coming from this alley in which you're weirdly standing was in any way suspicious. What does that say on the left? The show boy? <laughs> There's something like that sign on the left. So, uh, what's that behind you? <laughs> There's a uh, perfect statue, statue of, of a human. I made it myself. Oh. My statues can be found all across New York. I don't know this voice actor's name. It's the one who plays the villain in Final Fantasy XIII 2. Yule! <laughs> I will bring in the Age of Chaos! Etc, etc. When time is in flux, the future changes, and Yule is consumed. So I will dam the river of time and tear down the foundations of history. Only then will your suffering come to an end. You're going to destroy history just so you can save you? Yes. No, oh, okay. So what we've got is a mysterious statue creating rapist Severoth with anime eyebrows who sells the statues for fair prices. America! Ah, uh, no, no thanks. Um, I, I don't know the first thing about fine art, especially made out of humans. Um, what the? What's this? <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, in the sky above... <laughs> Yule, how's it going up there? Gather the Numa of all the women I can find as a gift for our lord! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I was that boy. I wanted to read that line. <laughs> Why did he get to read it? I wanted to do it. That's a good line. That's a good ass line right there. Someone really good at writing wrote this trash. How's the friendship coming along? Have I messed up again? Okay, Karen likes me again because I fucked over Subaru. Karen still likes Subaru and Dan likes me. Okay, I think we've we somehow improved things despite it seeming bad recently. Hey, that's the, the characters from the start of the game. They've recurred. <laughs> I wondered when chapter one was going to get mentioned again. But the game opened by going, there she is, captain of the Japanese Imperial something something, someone someone. And then you only saw her for about five seconds and she's never in the game again. But there she is, the person on the left. And the guy on the right's the freak, freaky ears man. <laughs> oh, everyone's freaky ears man in this game. Anyway, Ratchet used to have better clothes. That looks good. Still the hoop earrings though. I decided to change myself through force of will. <laughs> I couldn't take these fucking hoop earrings off. They were glued on as it happens, I don't know. This stuff happens back in the Assault Force. During my time with Kudorogami and the Flower Division, I realized I could still change. There were still other earring styles available. Subaru was shipped off to Europe to the front. Oh dear, I mean, it all sounds pretty bad. What was the European Flower Division fighting? I mean, here we just fight giant robots. Do they have giant robots over there? Same problem, or is it an actual war? I mean, why why is one bit of it called the Imperial Assault Force? That sounds like actual military. And then the Flower Division just kind of does the, the giant robots on the side. And the tap dancing, of course. Anyway, we're going to take responsibility. We're going to sort Subaru out. Shin. You've had a fried egg before, right? Ooh, a really good metaphor is about to drop. <laughs> I can feel it. A shadow is cast across the land. <laughs> this metaphor will be powerful. A fried egg? Yes, of course. Well, in order to get a delicious fried egg, you must first break the shell. Oh, I see what you're doing here! Well done, Devon, in the past. You've written up another great metaphor. I like it. Obviously, I love mine. Sunny side up, half cooked on one side, as a brief side. What's that a metaphor for? I don't know what you mean, sunny side. Okay, carry on. Uh, um, well then, we should get going. <laughs> I'm not going to finish the metaphor. It wasn't really going anywhere after the shell crack bit. I said the word first, just, just to lead you on. By the way, we're doing Viva Harlem tonight. Oh, shit. Yeah, we didn't... We were going to rehearse, but then we didn't because we wanted to kill Subaru. Oh, no, we haven't rehearsed. Oh, that's all right. We'll get Diana to do our ad-libs for the whole show. And then if there's any time left, uh, Rosita will shoot guns in the audience. Right. Uh, we don't need to do the tap dancing. It's fine. Oh. <laughs> the show began. I was What's born happening? with a short fuse. You should have known that. <laughs> a short fuse. Did Karen explode? <laughs> I mean, the recurring theme of characters exploding. 
<laughs> appears to be coming back. What was the explosion? Besides, he's not wrong all the time. Thanks, Diana. Thanks for the backup. <laughs> I think everyone. Let me tell you something. <laughs> when you think about it, <laughs> where where are you going with this? When you when you really think about it, <laughs> I'm just I'm just great. <laughs> I know you all think I'm shit, but think about it. Ain't I? Ain't I great? No collusion. And <laughs> just carry on. I'm the best, guys. <laughs> <laughs> That's just like you, man. Totally confident. Gotta love it. Thanks, girlfriend. We're in. We're back in. The nice music started playing again. We recovered the situation. We bluffed our way through that leadership crisis. <laughs> Have you considered simply having a different opinion? Sure. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> You know it! <laughs> oh, there's gonna be one of those stupid, like, analog stick rotating mini games to tap dance, and if you don't do it perfectly, Subaru hates you. We won't let you down, Subaru. 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 <laughs> Subaru. Hey, Subaru. Who wrote this track? <laughs> I turned you to a duo. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's too good. Okay, Karen. We're back on track. A jewel. A jewel will solve this problem. Let's Christing do it. Giant robot jewel. That's Go what on, you meant it. to say. If he loses, he'll dance on stage in your place. What? Whoa, whoa, oh, you're speaking for me. I have the jewel soup roof. Don't worry, this could turn out to be a good thing in the end, especially if you die. I mean, uh, something, something, sword fighting in the construction site <laughs> instead of rehearsing for the show. I mean, I'm managing this theatre, supposedly, and I'm gonna sign off on this. <laughs> Subaru's never lost, not a battle, not a duel. Subaru died during one of the, the boss battles, thanks to me, or whatever. If we can find a way to defeat her, she might learn a lot. Okay, this is how we break her eggshell. We'll hit her with a samurai sword. <laughs> Slashing this metaphor apart, the subtlety is gone. Yep, we're fighting on top of the girders. <laughs> Let's fucking do it. This is way more dramatic. You're late, Shinjiro. I've been waiting. <laughs> Climb atop the tower to the land they call the Cloud District. <laughs> Subaru, if you lose, you have to apologize for all the stupid crap you've done. That, this is pretty low stakes. And tell us if you're a guy or a girl. <laughs> the stakes have heightened beyond even the Cloud District's height. <laughs> Very well. <laughs> And what will you do for me when I win? <laughs> I'll tell you if I'm a guy or a girl, that's a fair exchange. Shins can play your part on stage or be your pet. <laughs> no, I wouldn't really mind being your pet. No, I mean, <clears throat> I, th I, th I think that's, um, uh, whoops. <laughs> I'll be your pet. <laughs> you can do whatever you want with me. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> oh, but Subaru eats her pets. Oh shit. If I lose, I'm going to be literally cannibalized. No, thank you. I don't like responsibility. Oh, never mind. Ready. Charge in. No other options. Charge in. Okay, we're gonna get fucking home. Here we go. Go! Are we just gonna stab her with a sword? I mean, if this was an actual duel, she'd just die. Nobody's objecting to this. Maybe, why don't we use a wooden practice sword and like kendo armor? No. She's just in a suit. And I've got an actual katana. Whatever, it's the 1920s, baby. Oh no, we're too predictable. She opened her fan! Thus, somehow, what did that achieve? I won't back down now, I'm gonna stab her through and through. What options have we got? Rush forwards? There's some, there's a secret option. No, oh, there's a, there was like one frame where it said something else. Oops, oh, I accidentally put into turbo mode. Maybe that was why it was only one frame. Fuck, I had it on like 10 times speed. Ow! Ow! She, she's just slapping me across the face with a paper fan. She's so fast. How can I really compete? Oh my god, here we go. It's one of these, one of these, one of these. Down. Sideways. Left. Uh-oh. Wah! Wah! What happened? What happened? Did she sort of wave the fan at us? Yeah. Looks like it. What was this? Was she actually parrying the sword with that paper fan? I don't know what was going on. Fried eggs aren't the only food around, you know. 
I like a good hard-boiled egg too. Oh, the metaphor's coming back. It's coming back. Maybe we don't have to break the shell. Maybe different shell consistencies can all work together using the power of friendship. The shell will be broken eventually. <laughs> it is destiny. So where is everyone? I noticed that no one's at work. They're practicing dancing. That's what they said, but I can actually see them fighting with swords on that skyscraper out the window. So to be honest, I don't know what we're doing here. Ah, hello, it's Cherry Cocker and Anne-Ri. Your costume's all ready. Ah, uh, yes. Tonight's the big day. We're performing in Viva Harlem, the tap dancing extravaganza. This is a promotion, actually, because I'm promoted from Usher to tap dancer. I guess Super is the Usher now. All right. So, uh, what are you doing here? Do you remember, these two actually live in the same apartment as us. We kind of share it. That's what it said at the beginning of the game. They're just never here when we need to sleep, conveniently enough. Lose the underwear, too. <laughs> There's no, it's no use resisting us, tiger. We are. We are. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Wow, All right. he's even cuter than I expected. Way to go. Uh-oh. I think I know where this is. It's already there, isn't it? It's already there. Well, I won't lie. I'm pretty good with the rouge brush. Finally, we've made it, ladies and gentlemen, to the part <laughs> that I predicted would be in the game earlier on. The cross-dressing sequence. <laughs> we got to the hot spring sequence very early on, and now, now, we've gone even further beyond <laughs> to the cross-dressing sequence. Let's do... <laughs> this shit. If they're not gonna hurry up and finish that fucking Final Fantasy 7 remake, this'll have to do. I'm... <laughs> I'm a girl. I'm the cutest girl here. How am I gonna get married? Well, I'm the cutest girl here. Yes. <laughs> You're definitely my type. I just wanna oh, eat shit. you up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I mean, oh, shit. Cutest girl here. <laughs> I'm also a Southern Belle now, as always. This is good. So, we know Diana's into cross-dressing. We know Cherry Cocker's into girls in a confusing twist. I just want a little taste anyway. Oh, please, Miss Cocker. Please, Miss Cocker. Stop it! Don't even joke about that! Homosexuality is illegal. It's the 1920s. Didn't you know that? I guess it's not homosexuality, because I'm actually a man, technically. I don't, I don't know where this is legally, I don't know where this is. It, it's probably still not legal, to be honest, but it's the 1920s. So from now on, you are... Peppermint! How's that? That sounds lovely. Could you call me Coriander, for personal reasons? <laughs> Never mind. Peppermint. Why pepper? I mean, why peppermint? The show's at seven. <laughs> We've got pl oh what well, damn it! Well, a young girl just came out of Shin's apartment. Diana, please stop stalking my apartment. You're not supposed to know who's coming in and out of my apartment. Uh, Diana, hold on, please listen. So he's cavorting, consorting, oh, consorting with women in the dead of night. <laughs> he's impure. No, Diana, I'm not really impure. Looks down at self. Oh yeah, there I am. Okay, Mr. Tiger, I had no idea this is what you liked. I'm quite shocked. Wait a minute, Diana, earlier you were okay with cross-dressing. You were like, if you're into it, I'm happy with that. And now here I'm actually doing it, you back out. <laughs> you were just virtue signaling the whole time, weren't you, Diana? I feel so discriminated against. It's not like the whatever. It, it doesn't let her go. We have to go to Gemini's house. Okay, this is the important part. We're gonna... <laughs> Finally, I remember to go to Gemini's house. <laughs> that is when I'm dressed as a woman. But hopefully, this will lead to something. Amazing. So guys, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs>